Enrique Alvarez sculptor. Turned out to be one of my mentors. Went to the same art school as me, School of the Art Institute, but much earlier than me, since they say he was born in 1901. He may have been born earlier than that. And he was a master at his craft. As I said, a master at his craft. And he helped me out with some of my first monumental sculptures back in the 90s. He mentored me through the process to get it done, which I did. Pieces like this, he pretty much did figure invention. He didn't use any models. He didn't have any need for models because of his long years of hard work, working on his figurative techniques. And of course he had that real deal Mexican aesthetic and swag in his work. Here's a picture of him, how he looked when I knew him. More like that. Some of Mr. Alvarez's work. Check this. It's beautiful sculpting. There's erotic Radica here, done in 1964. Influences from Mr. Alvarez's participation in the Mexican Revolution, which it looks like he must have been a child soldier in there. That's what he said. From the age of 10, no, 12 to 22. See, so he was kind of gang pressed into the Mexican Revolution. I ain't never get no details of how much fighting went on that he was involved in, but probably a good little bit. <laughs> And then after that, he ended up coming to the Art Institute. So we linked up in 1991 and he ended up becoming an integral influence and mentor in my life from 1991 onwards till he made his transition and went to join the ranks of the ancestors.